Hello everyone, welcome to another piano lesson. I'm so excited to get into today's lesson and this is because we are going to be looking at music theory and why it is important for every musician to learn at least basic music theory. Now, if you're new here, I want you to click on that subscribe button, like and share so I can continue to grow this channel. Let's get right into today's lesson. Now, as you can see displayed on the chart, I have a whole note, a half note, a quarter note, and an eight note, and a sixteenth note. Now, in one measure of common time or 4-4 four -four time signature, a whole note lasts for one measure because a, a whole note has four beats. A half note has two beats. A quarter note has one beat. Now for the whole note, if I should play a note on the keyboard count to four, then that would be the value of a whole note. Example, one, two, three, four. So I sustain for four. Now for a half note, it values two beats. So in this case, I would have one, two, three, four. Now a quarter note has one beat. So each beat gets one count. Example, one, two, three, four all nice and even. Now, the difference with the 8th note and the 16th note, we will have to use syllables in between these notes. Example, 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and. That's exactly how you would play an 8th note, which is 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and. For the 16th note, we're going to be using 1, E and A. Here's an example of how you would play the 16 note. It would be 1 E and a, 2 E and a, 3 E and a, 4 E and a. There you have it. So now, how can we apply this to music? Now the piece that I played at the beginning of the lesson, what I did was a mixture of the whole note, the half note, the eighth note, and the 16 note. One, two, three. Four and eight notes. Now let's try the 16 notes. Everything. Now let us look at diatonic chords. Now diatonic chords are stuck in third, which means there is an interval between each note. So in, th in, the, in the case of C major, the first chord, which is C major, is a diatonic chord and it's a major. The second chord is D minor and it's a minor. Second chord is E and it's a minor. The fourth chord is F and it's a major. The fifth chord is G and it's a major. The sixth chord is A and it's a minor. The seventh chord is B and it's a B diminished chord. 
and back to your one chord or eight. Now, it's important that you practice all these chords and you, you learn them up and down the scale. And this is beginner, stu beginner stuff, but it's very important that you learn this from day one and you're able to comfortably play them up and down the scale, both in your right hand and your left hand. And even hands together. And you know, you also try from time to time to learn them in their different inversions. Now, the next thing that I want to show you as a part of diatonic chords is uh, the diatonic chords extension. So what we're going to be doing, we're going to be changing these diatonic chords into major seven chords. So for example, C now becomes C, C major seven. So what this is, you're adding us the seventh note to your major chord, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you're adding this note. You do the same thing for D minor. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You're on a C, so you had D minor seven. Then you have E minor seven, F major seven. Then you come up here now, but the different, this is now a G seven. Then a minor seven then you come to your b now but the different now this is a b flat seven flat five chord and then back to your c sharp c my c major seven then back to your c major seven when you practice to play chords in your left hand it frees up your right hand so you can do more interesting stuff So these are all diatonic chords and I'm just using major 7th, 7th, now in this song hallelujah I'm going to be using some diatonic chords both major diatonic major and minor diatonic chord and diatonic chord extension and give you an idea how you can incorporate them into a song so here this card on one i'm using a diatonic chord and i'm using a c major seven card on two i'm using a minor seven Six. All that on the cards. So this, this is just some ways in which, you know, you can use your diacritic card just to change your sound, add some flavor. All right, that's all for today. I hope you know, you would have learned something from this lesson and I want you to look out for my next video where I'll go more in depth with diatonic cards and how we can use them to, you know, 
inspire others and just to improve our overall skill as a musician. See you in the next video.